Hey guys, this video is to get you started with G4. So now you guys have subscribed to it, you guys signed up, you guys can go ahead and get started. Down here below, once you guys finish your signing up, you will see this page where it tells you Windows, Mac, Nivea Shield, or just going to Android. So if you click on download for Windows PC, you should get a message and then just allow it and download that. It's the same thing for Mac. So if I click on for Mac, I can just allow it and it's gonna start downloading that DMG file. For Nivea Shield, if I click on learn more, actually I have that open already right here, it's showing you this. So it's just like anything that you can hook up to your TV so you guys can actually play games. Uh, obviously it's more than that, it's for streaming. There's a bunch of stuff out there such as Google Chromecast, for example, does the exact same thing. Well, almost the exact same thing. So the bad thing about this is the price. It's 199 or if you're in Canada, 260 For that price, you can actually buy a PS4 right now. Um, I'm not talking about any PS4, you guys can buy a bundle. So you guys can get three free games. So I know a PS4 or Xbox is not the same thing as this. Actually, a PS4 or Xbox would be better than this. This is very standard, it's just something to stream, but you need that in order to play on your TV. Um, once again, an Xbox One S, for example, right now is 160. So the price for this doesn't make sense to me, but that's what you would need to buy in order to play on your TV. And if you guys would like to play on your Android, go ahead into your Google Play Store. So you guys can click on this link and it's gonna take you here. And this is the app that you would need in order to play it. So that once you guys download that app, get ready to play. For this specific video, we're just gonna install it on a Mac. So we already download it. And we're gonna go up here on the top right hand side. We're gonna see everything that has downloaded from before. So we see GeForce, it's supposed to be a DMG file. So that's perfect, let's just click on it or we can view it in Finder just by clicking on the side right here. Once we do that, as with any program, you just have to drag it into your applications folder. So in this case, it has this shortcut to it. So we're just gonna grab that there. And right now it's in our applications folder. So we can go right into Finder and launch this up in order to see and start gaming with GeForce. So let's just go right into Finder. I have Finder down here below. So you can just click on it. Once this opens up, I can just go into applications. So under Finder, you will see applications. So under applications, I just have to look for that specific app that we just downloaded. And I can see it's right down here. So this is how it looks like, GeForce Now. So if I double click on it, it should open up just fine. So we're gonna click on it. It's gonna verify it. Then we can go ahead and open it up. We do have to click on agree and continue. I'm just gonna close right now Finder just so it's not in my way anymore. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing that interesting here. And finally, we can just log in. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see. So at this point in time, on the top right hand side, the very first thing you guys want to do is log into your account. So let's just click right there, top right hand side. It's going to ask you for your email and password or if you guys can log in with your Google or Facebook, go ahead. Those are usually faster. Once you sign in, you will get this page right here. It's just highlights. Let's just close that up. And you may notice on the top, we can just click on the sites and see some of the games. So these are the most popular games. That's why they're up here. And we can just add them to our library just by clicking the plus sign and library. Or we could just scroll down and we're gonna see other games down here as well. It's usually the most popular ones, obviously. Destiny 2, for example, which is also available on Stadia. I'm just comparing some stuff from Stadia. We can click on See More, which is down here below on the bottom right-hand side. Just click on See More. And finally, we can see all the games that are available. So right now, these are games for GeForce. So there's quite a bit. If you guys see a particular one that you want to play right now, right away, just go ahead and click on it. So if we click on, for example, let's go with uh, League of Legends. We're gonna click right there. We can just play. We can even desktop shortcut it or just add it to our library. We can always go back. So on the top left-hand side, we're gonna see go back. And from here, I also wanna show you 
that um, if you guys don't have anything in your library, well, this very first option will not be that useful. But yes, you guys can click right there and just type in whatever game you guys are looking for in your library. At this point, what I'm gonna do is just scroll to the side, add this Fortnite into my library. So to add any game to your library, just click on this plus sign and it's gonna be added to your library. So do you own this game? Then go ahead and click on continue. And right away, you guys can click on play. Now the same thing goes with other games. So we're just gonna add League of Legends right here into our library. So let's just add that into our library. So this is League of Legends. We're just adding that into our GeForce Now account. And we're gonna click on continue. So that's League of Legends. Next, we're gonna add The Witcher. So again, library, continue. We don't have to see that message every single time, by the way. We can just click not to see it. We're also gonna add this one, Warframe, and continue on. And there we go, next. You guys can keep adding and adding more. I'm gonna add this one as well. Continue. And there we go. So as you guys may notice down here below, I'm gonna see my library, and right away I can see all the games. Obviously, if I get that many games in my library, I will have to use this feature to find and add your games. So at this point, I do have only a few. What I just showed you, I added to my library. I can just click in the middle in order to play them. By the way, if you guys have a Mac, you can hook up your Xbox One controller to your Mac via Bluetooth and then play these games. So you don't have to use keyboard and mouse for everything if you're not a big fan of that. So we're gonna do in this case, we're just gonna start up Fortnite so you guys can see the process and how this works. So we're gonna click on play. Now yes, Fortnite's one of those things that you could play it on your Mac by installing Epic Games and it's gonna do that, sure. Right now it's gonna allow, you do have to allow this, so we're just gonna click okay. This shouldn't take too long. It should analyze the network actually pretty fast. Things that might get in your way um, for this or even Stadia, I keep comparing to Stadia because that's that's their direct competitor. Uh, for example, if you guys have VPN, so if you guys are running VPN, that could be it. Also, things that might get in your way are firewalls. That also can get in your way. At this point, it's telling me that streaming my network is not recommended, which is weird just because my internet is actually pretty fast. So just to make sure that my internet's running okay, what I'm gonna do is just test out my internet. So I'm gonna open something up. I'm gonna go ahead, test internet speed. This way you know if it's actually you or just maybe their server. So you usually click on the second option right there and then I go ahead and run this. So it does require a minimum megabytes per second of download and upload speed, mostly download, but you do need something of uploading because there's always that communication happening. And uh, with my speed, we should be okay over Wi-Fi. I shouldn't need ethernet. Ethernet, yes, it's better, it's faster. With ethernet cable, for example, I would get 360 megabytes per second. Right now over Wi-Fi, I'm only getting 192. However, that should be more than good enough in order to play GeForce. So I know for a fact it's not me. And I do have an upload speed of 30 megabytes, well, almost 30 megabytes. So I'm going to go back to GeForce now that I know that it's not me. And I'm going to continue anyway. So instead of just clicking on try again, I'm just going to click on continue anyway. Also, I want to mention that I'm not uploading, downloading anything at this point in time. Usually when we're making these videos, I am not doing that. <laughs> Other than that, yes, I'm always uploading videos on YouTube for my channel. So right now what we should see is this. It should take over your screen, which is very similar to Stadia. Once again, we're gonna have to sign into our Epic account in order to play Fortnite, because that's how Fortnite works. Once you log in, you should see just verifying, and then you should see this page. I just got an email, but that's just Microsoft telling me because I did sign in through my Microsoft and they're telling me that there's some unusual activity which would make sense. Now this startup is kind of weird but it's loading, it's loading. We're gonna see exactly how fast it loads. I know a lot of people on their Macs are having problems 
with the software that's provided by Epic in order to run Fortnite, for example, in other games. Uh, with GeForce, this should be the fix because it should just run very, very easy. It does tell me that I have a spotty connection. I don't really believe it. I actually don't believe it because I was, as a matter of fact, playing Fortnite just about three minutes ago on my PlayStation and I wasn't lagging at all. So I was just okay. So I'm gonna select game to get started. So I'm gonna put in not now. I'm gonna go and close this up. So at this point in time, if I wanna get out, sure there's a few ways to get out of this screen, for example, I just wanna show you that. So up here on the top right hand side, you will see an X square and then this. So we can just hit on that and it's gonna minimize. And then we can just bring it up again. So it does make it work almost like a PC <laughs> and we can also close it up. So that's how you guys can run this. I'm just gonna close it up for now. I'm gonna exit, so I'm gonna confirm that. I'm gonna exit this as well. I'm gonna end my session and there we go, we're back. So right now it should ask you this. It's gonna ask you this almost every single time. That's because they have to keep improving. So you have to tell them. For now I can tell them that it was pretty bad because he kept telling me that I was laggy, although my internet speed is excellent. And um, that's one of the main reasons why you were getting those three months for free, right? And then later on, it's gonna be pretty cheap. Anyways, that's how you guys can get started right now with GeForce. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.